eight launches, eight spectacular failures. In the high-stakes world of space innovation, even SpaceX, the company that revolutionized rocket landing, is facing its greatest challenge yet. After multiple test flights ending in dramatic explosions, broken heat shields, and uncontrolled descents, Elon Musk's team is pivoting to a bold new strategy that could redefine the future of Starship. The solution? Taking Starship to the ocean. While we've all seen Falcon 9 boosters gracefully landing on drone ships, applying this same concept to the colossal, Starship presents unprecedented engineering challenges. This isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a fundamental rethinking of how we launch and land the largest, most powerful rocket ever built. Consider the stark reality. Starship stands 121 meters tall, nearly twice the height of Falcon 9. It weighs 5 million kilograms when fueled, 10 times heavier than its predecessor. The thrust it generates would make Falcon 9 look like a model rocket by comparison. Every land-based launch has proven one thing conclusively. The current approach simply isn't working. From critical heat shield failures to software malfunctions, each test brings new evidence that Starship requires a different solution if it's ever going to fulfill its promise as humanity's gateway to Mars and beyond. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to the most ambitious space program in human history. Let's dive right in. Let's take a closer look at what's actually happening with these Starship tests. In March 2024, during the third test flight, SpaceX engineers watched in horror as their creation reached space only to break apart during re-entry. The heat shield, designed to withstand temperatures hot enough to melt steel, failed catastrophically, causing the entire structure to collapse. Three months later, the June 2024 test showed the same pattern. Despite modifications and improvements, Starship couldn't handle the extreme heat of atmospheric re-entry. At speeds approaching 17,000 miles per hour, even the slightest weakness in thermal protection means certain destruction. By September 2024, SpaceX had reinforced the heat shield extensively, using data from previous failures to strengthen vulnerable areas. The result? Starship made it further than ever before, only to disintegrate once again as the heat shield gave way under the relentless forces of re-entry. The December 2024 test introduced a new problem. This time, with an improved heat shield, it was a software malfunction that doomed the mission. As Starship attempted its complex landing sequence, it lost stability and plunged into the ocean before it could even attempt a controlled touchdown. SpaceX isn't just struggling with the rocket itself. They're facing growing resistance from communities surrounding their launch sites. The vice president of Falcon Launch Vehicles recently highlighted a problem that's becoming impossible to ignore. Starship is just too loud for frequent land-based launches. When Starship takes off, the acoustic energy it generates is enough to shatter windows miles away. For communities near launch sites, the prospect of regular Starship launches means constant disruption to daily life. An ocean platform located miles offshore would significantly reduce noise pollution, allowing for a much higher launch cadence without affecting populated areas. There's also the matter of safety. A rocket as massive as Starship poses inherent risks during launch and landing. Moving these operations offshore creates a natural safety buffer, protecting both people and property from potential accidents. But perhaps most compelling is how sea-based operations could streamline regulatory approvals. Every land launch requires extensive coordination with numerous agencies, safety assessments, and environmental impact studies. Ocean platforms, while still regulated, could potentially reduce these hurdles, allowing SpaceX to iterate faster. To understand why landing Starship on an ocean platform is so challenging, we need to compare it with Falcon 9, which makes sea landings look almost routine. Falcon 9 stands 70 meters tall with a diameter of 3.7 meters. It's a precision instrument, designed from the ground up for controlled landings. Its grid fins provide exceptional stability during descent, allowing for pinpoint accuracy even on a moving drone ship. Starship, by contrast, is a behemoth, at 121 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter, it's like trying to land a skyscraper on a postage stamp. The physics alone are staggering. Starship generates nearly 16 million pounds of thrust, 
creating forces that would tear apart ordinary structures. When Falcon 9 returns to Earth, it follows a relatively simple trajectory. It reaches about 85 kilometers in altitude before beginning its descent, experiencing manageable re-entry forces. Its landing burn is straightforward, with the rocket maintaining a vertical orientation throughout. Starship's return is dramatically different. Coming back from altitudes above 200 kilometers at speeds approaching 28,000 kilometers per hour, it must first survive the inferno of re-entry. Then comes the belly flop maneuver. Starship falls horizontally, using its flaps like a skydiver to control its descent. In the final moments, Starship must execute what engineers call the flip, rotating from horizontal to vertical orientation while firing its engines to slow its descent. This complex choreography has to happen with split-second timing, with zero margin for error. Now imagine attempting this precision landing on a platform that's moving with ocean swells. Even if SpaceX solves the landing problem, there's still the matter of fueling Starship at sea, a challenge that makes land-based refueling look simple by comparison. Falcon 9 uses RP-1, a refined kerosene, and liquid oxygen, propellants that are relatively stable and easy to handle. Starship uses cryogenic methane and oxygen, which must be kept at temperatures approaching negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit. On land, maintaining these temperatures is already challenging. At sea, with constantly changing ambient conditions, temperature fluctuations, humidity, and the corrosive effects of salt water, it becomes an engineering nightmare. SpaceX would need to develop entirely new cryogenic storage systems capable of withstanding maritime conditions. The fueling arms would need to compensate for the movement of the platform while maintaining perfect seals during propellant transfer. A single leak could result in catastrophic failure. There's also the matter of scale. Starship requires approximately 4,500 tons of propellant for a full launch, enough to fill multiple Olympic-sized swimming pools. Transporting this quantity to an ocean platform, storing it safely, and transferring it to the rocket presence logistical challenges unlike anything seen in the space industry. Despite these monumental challenges, SpaceX has already taken concrete steps towards sea-based operations. In 2021, they purchased two oil rigs, named Phobos and Deimos after Mars moons, with the intention of converting them into floating launch platforms. While SpaceX later shifted focus back to land-based launches at Starbase, these assets remain available for future development. Recent statements from company executives suggest that the ocean platform concept is very much alive, with engineering teams actively working on solutions to the numerous technical challenges. SpaceX engineers are reportedly developing a new stabilization system for the ocean platforms, using advanced hydraulics to counteract wave motion and maintain a stable launch and landing surface. Early prototypes have shown promise in computer simulations, potentially allowing for operations in sea states that would normally make launches impossible. For the heat shield problem, SpaceX is testing a revolutionary new ceramic composite material that early tests show can withstand temperatures 20% higher than current tiles. Combined with a redesigned attachment system inspired by the scales of a fish, allowing for thermal expansion without compromising structural integrity, this could finally solve the re-entry problem that has plagued Starship. The truth is clear. If Starship is to fulfill its destiny as humanity's gateway to Mars, SpaceX must solve these fundamental challenges. The ocean platform concept isn't just an interesting alternative. It may be the only viable path forward. Industry insiders report that SpaceX is already in talks with naval engineering firms to develop a next-generation stabilization system that could make ocean launches not just possible, but preferable to land-based operations. This isn't just about making Starship work. It's about creating an entirely new paradigm for space launch systems. While the competition focuses on incremental improvements to traditional rockets, Elon Musk is once again rewriting the rules of what's possible. The ocean platform solution represents the kind of lateral thinking that has made SpaceX the most innovative company in the space sector. Will it work? The engineering challenges are immense, but betting against SpaceX has proven foolish time and again. This is the company that made landing orbital class boosters seem routine, a feat many experts once declared impossible. 
As we continue to track Starship's development, one thing is certain. We're witnessing space history in the making. If you want to stay updated on this revolutionary project, make sure you're subscribed to Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit that like button if you found this analysis valuable and share it with anyone interested in the future of space exploration. Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Do you think ocean platforms are the answer to Starship's challenges? We read every comment and love hearing your perspectives. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, bringing you the cutting edge of space innovation. Until next time. SpaceX's 2025 started with a bang, literally. After an impressive streak of successful launches in January, including a milestone Starship flight, the space community was buzzing with optimism. This is the year SpaceX reaches new heights, experts claimed. Fast forward just three months and that narrative has dramatically shifted. The company that seemed unstoppable is now facing a sobering reality check. Critical failures are mounting, Deadlines are slipping, and their flagship Starship program is struggling to maintain momentum. While fans and investors focused on the spectacular potential of Mars colonization, serious problems have been developing behind the scenes with their workhorse, the Falcon 9 rocket. On March 2nd, disaster struck when a routine Falcon 9 mission encountered a catastrophic fuel leak. Though the booster initially landed successfully on the drone ship, Within 35 seconds, leaked kerosene ignited, engulfing the rocket in flames before it toppled overboard. This wasn't just an isolated incident. Just a month earlier, another Falcon 9 upper stage failed to properly deorbit, resulting in debris scattered across a field in Poland. The question on everyone's mind, is SpaceX pushing its launch frequency beyond sustainable limits? With 26 Falcon 9 launches completed by early March 2025,